What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be rolling kayaks and I'm gonna show you guys 10 different ways, or at least attempt to, on how to roll a sea kayak. We're in Redding, California this week and we've got a massive heat wave rolling through. It's supposed to be 105 degrees all week. So I thought what better time to bust out my Greenland paddle and my sea kayak and see what Greenland rolls I can still do. My goal today is to try to get 10 rolls and uh, we'll see if I still know 10 different rolls or can accomplish 10 different rolls. And I'm gonna try to give you guys some tips and pointers along the way. So hopefully we'll have some fun on this one and you guys can get a little takeaway. If nothing else, maybe get inspired to go out and play in your kayak. So there was a day, if you go to like my old YouTube channel and my, some of my original videos, I used to do a lot of Greenland paddling and a ton of Greenland rolling. I used to be able to do 20 something different rolls but honestly, you guys, I haven't rolled a kayak uh, with a Greenland paddle in probably over five years. So I will be thrilled if I can get to the 10. Um, we're gonna start off with just some basic stuff, a standard, it's called a layback roll, which is sort of the standard Greenland roll. This roll is kind of the foundation for so many other rolls. If you can do a layback roll, the chances are you could probably do a butterfly roll. If you get a clean butterfly roll, chances are you could probably do a hand roll. So let's see if we can work our way through that progression. We're gonna start with the paddle extended out. This is gonna be the setup. And I'm going to finish rolling up, laid back on my back deck. With any roller, your head's always got to be the last thing to come up. And with that roll in particular, I want to keep the paddle nice and square to my chest. So I go from my setup position, extend the paddle out, and then roll up nice and slowly under the back deck, head being the last thing to come out of the water. And that one felt pretty good. It felt pretty easy to roll up. So if that one worked, in theory, should be able to put the paddle in the crook of my elbow and do a crook of elbow roll. Let's give that one a shot. Oh, that feels weird. I have not as flexible as I used to be. Oh, that was cool. I actually worked out better than I thought. This boat rolls pretty easy. This is a boat I picked up. It was a Craigslist find. I bought it for like 800 bucks. And I've actually been paddling it a ton because I don't mind smashing it on the river or like playing in my pool. I know I'm gonna bang around the edges. It's good to have a plastic boat. It's kind of an old school Valley Aquanaut. I think it's from like 2005. All right, what other rolls should we do here? We got layback roll, crook of elbow roll. Should I go for behind the head roll? Oh, and that's happening. Let's, well, let's try it. Same idea as a layback roll, but this time we're gonna try to keep the paddle behind our head. I was never good at this one. Let's see if it goes. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> well, it wasn't pretty, but it got up. That was super cool. Man, it's really fun. I haven't played with the Greenland paddle in a long time. I forget how much easier this makes rolling. Just having that buoyant wood blade. And there's something about the Greenland paddle, just the way it slices through the water, it creates so much lift and so much power throughout your roll. Really, really fun way to learn different rolls. The other thing I thought would be fun to try is just a sculling brace. Just to, uh, you know, sculling brace is sort of a position. If you can get to this position, you can usually finish with a layback roll. So let's just try to drop my shoulders, keep them nice and flat in the water. I'm loosening up my left leg, engaging my right leg, arching my back, and trying to keep my shoulders as flat as I can. I like doing that practice because I know if I can get to that point where I can find a good uh, going brace, I can almost always finish a roll from that position. Let's go ahead and just practice. We'll do a Greenland roll into a sculling brace and then a layback finish. Right on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try to do, which is uh, I have not been very successful. The next thing I'm gonna to try to do is called a balance brace, which is basically a static brace. So instead of sculling and using my paddle for support, I'm just gonna use the, my body position and the flotation of the paddle to brace myself flat on the water. We'll see if it works. But if that works, then I should be able to do a butterfly roll. And if a butterfly roll works, then maybe we'll get a hand roll today. We'll see. There's two ways to do this. One way is you start with the sculling brace, you get your body in position, Mm -hmm. 
That was terrible, but that's the idea. The other thing I could do is try to start at a butterfly roll position and then go into a static brace and then see if I can finish. Here we go. Oh, wow, that was not it. Okay. All right, that was a really, really bad butterfly roll, but I didn't get the static race. Okay, I gotta slow down, feel my body, get my chest flat on the water. It's like yoga, you gotta be relaxed for it to work. If you try to muscle it, it doesn't work. That wasn't perfect, but it was better. I think we'll take it. Okay. Okay, so the static brace to butterfly roll wasn't my best work, but I think we should be able to get just a smooth, clean butterfly roll, and then we'll see where we go from there. Let's try it. I'm happy with that one. And a shotgun roll. Yeah, it's fun to do these things. I haven't done this in like I said, so many years. I don't know why. I guess, you know, you just get into doing different things with kayaks. And Greenland was one of my early phases and haven't been back to it for a long time. All right, shotgun roll. Let's see if we can still do it here. Okay. <laughs> that one was terrible. I know I can do better than that. Let's try to clean that up a little bit. I really want to focus on my setup. The setup and the finish are the most important thing with green and rolling. If you have a good setup and you're crunched forward into your setup position, then typically you're going to have your full range of motion and the kayak should come up easier. Oh man, all right. That was a little better, I'll take it. Let's see if I can get a hand roll, which is kind of the same idea as a butterfly roll. But instead of a static brace position, I'm gonna to try to just use my hand for support and roll myself all the way over. <laughs> right on! Oh, that's super cool. All right, just for fun, I wanna see if I can do it on my offside. I don't know. In rolling, you're, you'll hear people talk about their onside and their offside. And typically, if you're right-handed, it means you're leading with your right hand. Um, most all these rolls I could do either way. A hand roll though really takes good body positioning and body posture. So we'll see if I can uh, can do it with my left hand here. Okay, you guys can critique my technique down in the comments, but it worked. <laughs> Not my best work, but hey, I'm stoked to be up. Cool. Let's get into some forward finish rolls, which are typically way more challenging because when you're doing them, you got to think about finishing forward. I always like to think about my nose dragging across the deck of my kayak, and this is my finished position as opposed to finishing back here on my back deck. So forward finish rolls. I usually start with this setup as my first one. There's all sorts of good names for these, you guys, and I really should know them but I don't, so you gotta forgive me. If you wanna know more information, you should check out James Manke's channel. Uh, he's an awesome Greenland rolling instructor based out of Canada, and he knows all this stuff, and I've, I've embarrassed to even be uh, be doing this without knowing the names, but uh, bear with me. So my setup for this one is I'm starting rotated, my paddle is behind my boat on the opposite side, and I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna wait till I feel my chest or the, my back up against the top of the water and then I'm going to sweep forward and I'm going to think about finishing by dragging my nose across my knees. Oh, my paddle dove pretty hard on that one, but it worked. Maybe I'll try a scully brace. You know, we did that on the, the layback roll, but you can also do a scully brace on a forward finishing roll. And it kind of looks like this right here, where you just take your paddle, Sweep it out. A 
It's kind of meant to be a resting position. If you can, uh, if it's like real rough and choppy, you can get yourself in that position where you can just feel the surface of the water, come up, get a breath, drop back down. And if you're in control, you, can, you should be able to do it nice and slow, slowly lower yourself into the water, slowly roll back up. Now I'm gonna go for a back deck roll, which is kind of like the last roll we did. Just, I keep my hand positions in the center of the paddle. I don't do an extended roll. I've never been good at this. We'll see if it works here. Oh, my first failure. Got closer than I expected. Right, it should be easy. All the kids are doing it. struggling with the back deck roll. I took a break and I watched some of my old videos and I realized I have a back deck roll I do with a Euro paddle, which is what I've been trying to do. And I should probably be able to do it with a Greenland paddle, but I've been struggling. But in old videos, I had a completely different setup. I would actually set up regular and just do a forward finish uh, roll on the front deck. So I'm gonna try that way and see if that goes any smoother. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get back to the, uh, the back deck roll. Maybe we scrap it all together and just Admit defeat. Wow. Let's go here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna mess around with a few other forward finish rolls, just like some trick rolls, just to get just to get my mind right, because man, these are these are rusty. That's the position I need to finish in. I just not get there. What's that called? Uh, I don't know. Like, under, it's just like a trick roll. Like, there's a name for it. I don't know the name for it. <clears throat> right on. <laughs> I know one that I probably can't do. Gotta call it first. Behind the head. Reverse sweep roll. Oh, that is not a slick sweep, I remember. Okay, here we go. I'm getting tired and they're getting worse. But I think that was actually my, my last recovery roll. That was just a standard roll, right? Well, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in today as I knocked the cobwebs off my Greenland rolling. This has been really inspiring. It makes me want to get out, stretch, do yoga, and just kind of hone these rolls in. I hope it inspires you to go out and play in your kayak, whether it be just falling out, getting back in, or learning to roll for your first time, like Ethan did today. Uh, we'll drop that clip in, my son, Ethan was hanging out with us and he got his very first ever roll. That was super, super cool dad moment. So get out there, play in your kayak. Until next time, you guys, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.